Okay, so the first thing to do with Nuno felting is to get, piece, well, get bubble wrap and put well, the bubbles well, up. I have an idea, first of all, <coughs> as to what you want to do. Okay. Well, <coughs> if you want to make a scarf, <coughs> or where you're going with it, because you're going to put the bubble wrap out and you're going to put the shape of what you want on the bubble wrap. Okay. And then you're going to decide what colour you want for the back of the scarf. Now, uh, where's the one? Did we bring mine? So yes, you're yes. going to use that scarf there, and are you going to cut it? Yes, I'm not going to See, look at anchor, it's beautiful But scarf. I brought this for you to give you an idea. She has, her scarf has some, um, hooked, someone gave it to her because it's moth eaten. Yeah, see, this was what I did last time. I made a long one. It smells like moth Does mm -hmm. it? Yeah. I see. <laughs> Can't. It does, huh? Mm -hmm. I, I smell moth Did you put moth in it? Oh, it's been in the shed. In her shed, we oh, yeah. went. To well, maybe it was just having the shed, oh, yes. It's beautiful. Be anyway, so this is what you're going to do now. So you're going to decide what shape you want. You're then going to get um, fleece, and it doesn't need to be all coloured. I made mine all coloured, but you can be all one colour, can be whatever you like. And you're going to put down one layer, a little tiny bits this way, and one layer, a little tiny oh. bits this way. So you're now going to have. So you're putting some this way and then some this way. Yes. And okay. fine. It doesn't need to be thick. Okay. And then we'll pretend we've done that. Okay. Then you're going to look at the top and you're going to put what you want on the top as a decoration. Okay. And it may all be one colour. It may be, it doesn't need to be I just use colours. And so then these are scarves. Now this scarf that you use, is this cotton? This is cotton. And this is the one that I bought. Mm, very soft um, cotton. Yeah. This is this one. Oh, so I already hacked a bit off the end of it there. Oh, so can I use some of that? You can use some of this if you like. So this has been cut off. See, I put it this way, that way. Anyway, you can see. Mm -hmm. And I spread it on. And then I put little wiggles in. Mm -hmm. And then I got the fleece. And I actually went round the little bits of material to, to help it stick. So uh -huh. I pulled a little bit on like this. So that it was actually stuck onto the right. So you know. because right here it's not stuck yeah. on. Yeah. So that I obviously missed it. Now is this all stuck? Not stuck on then in the middle? Well, I think it is stuck, but it helps it stick okay. if you put a little bit round. Okay. So that was the thing. And then if you want a straight edge, you turn the edge in. I forgot to do it on this. Okay. So I should have turned the edge in so that it's straight. Okay. And that's the first bit. So and we drew a line, you, we drew, which was kind of helpful. We drew on a thick Well, that's what I said, to draw the yeah, line Yeah, so that first. You fill, you're filling in. Yeah, okay. I, that's what I said. Your to draw piece is going to be smaller in the end than the drawing, right? Yes, it'll shrink a bit. Yeah. So that's, I think, the first so thing to do. Because it's nano, we don't, you don't work, it doesn't do the huge, it doesn't go hugely yeah. different. But, so the first thing is to decide how big it's going to be and, and lay the groundwork and then lay on little bits of fabric and then turn the edge in. And then we start to felt, but that's that's the preparation. Did we okay. get all the cut up fabric out and then work on top of it from either side? That's why we had the. That's why we worked on a cloth so we could flip it, right? Well, I I know she said bubbles up. Yeah, but but then, remember we had the we had the tooling, or maybe we yes, used I it think, after we did the first side just to flip I, it. I think we worked straight on the bubble wrap to start with. And then we, but we used the, yes, the tool, and that's tool number to flip two. it, right? That's number two. Down. Okay. step. I think we'll stick to the bubble wrap and the laying out. Okay, yeah. so this is the first step, so I'll go ahead and lay it out. Yeah. And if yeah. she needs to flip anything, she can just get a piece of... So this is going to be a wall hanging. And you're going to turn the top down to put a rod through it? I could. Thank you for the suggestion. You might want to make it... You might want... If you want that to be yes. a shape, you might want to make another bit there right. that's going to be turned down. That's a good idea. Although Anchorit, when I just saw, all she did was take a piece of willow, bend it in half, and then... Tie it. Oh, okay. On, yeah, which was so also a nice yeah. shape. A nice... Um, yes. I think that's quite an interesting Ooh, shape. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm going to make shapes. Nice. Which oh. I'm going to repeat, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to have fun. You're just going to have fun. But you know, I need to play oh, a bit. Just a I, love, I love the paisley pear, which is what this is. You know, this lovely shape. Mm-hmm. It's like shape. a heart. Yes. But it's very Paisley. Famous. I used to call this squashes. 
Squish. Squashy. Because it's like the shape of oh, squash. The parsley, yeah. Like paisley. Paisley. So you're going to use that edge then too. Yes. I thought. Well, I thought this would be the straight. You know, I think a design should have straight end curves. So we've got it straight here. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I don't know. Try. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my flat bottom. It's just going to be nothing but this color. It can, it can be whatever. Now, yeah. uh, let's see how Marilyn can show you how we were showing how to do it. I well, I, I'm, I've start. watched everybody do it, so I think I'm good. Okay, yeah. So I have this layer yeah, underneath so, there. Well, the thing about the nail is, you know, this whatever, pretty you know, scarf is under the whole thing. Oh, is but it? it's cut yeah, I mean, here and it's you, cut you here, it so that the top high, right? oh, and the bottom oh, can be yeah, yeah, okay. mashed okay. together yeah, and bind. And then I've covered the whole thing up. It's pretty amazing. I yeah. And I think I'm ready to start felting it. Okay. Now you have to get around your edge. Your edge is pretty. Okay. Oh, your edge is Oh, nice. This is going to be nice. nice. And so the edges should be... Well, Nancy's where it turned in. Oh. They've got... Oh, Nancy's won't be. Well, nice. it all depends. If you want it, it depends on what you want, right? If you want to have an edge that's Great. kind of like, you know, you know how uh, it's ragged. Wall hanging. Were you saying one of these you didn't? You felt like you didn't turn? I didn't, didn't turn this one. one? Yes, that was one I didn't turn in. We'll see what happened is, but I think, but some of it looks turned in. Anyway. I, I didn't do it. It, it, it just did itself. It just did itself. Oh. Yes. I forgot to tell them. Yeah, I don't really need the edge turned. I mean, but it, it'll just make it probably. Um, and if I did, would I just put a strip like well, that? Well, I think if you want it turned in. Do they turn the piece of stuff? Do they? How do they turn it in? Do they just? Well, we it just up? tucked it underneath. Okay. okay. So we didn't well, have the thing is, like anything when you're felting, things tend to go out. Right. So oh, do they? Yes. Okay. But, but when you're felting it, if you remember not to make like it, make it go like this. Yes. Whatever, you just right. Kind of see it. You'll see what happens after it. you bring it into itself. I so. didn't think mine looked too bad, although I didn't do it. You no, know. it looks great. I couldn't even tell. But when I look at my hanging, my hanging was definitely straighter. I realized it was has been putting oh, no. grated this soap on her new no felting scarf. Oh, no. So she squirted water all over it. She the squirted. Where's my? What's this? Now this is what they saved for me. I think it's a bit too big. This thing. They saved this for me at the dump. Yikers. I know. Oh, wow. Isn't Where's my little one? Is my little one gone well, somewhere? Oh, it's over here, I, I don't think. Know what to say. <laughs> I really don't. Oh. Here's the other one. Anchor yeah, this Is this one? Anchorage? Yes, that's my one. Oh, okay, well, um, I was using it, but... Uh, okay, well, I'll see, if I, can here. Use, here, I'll see here. if I can use this. Here. Oh, just I just haven't haven't used that big one before, but I don't know. I'm just going to tuck my ends in a bit because it's. See, this is how we use this, which I thought was rather a good idea because it did squash it. Did squash it. it squashes it. It must have. Well, maybe there's a smaller yogurt container lid. This is net, isn't it? But she called it two. Well, I didn't turn my edges in. Maybe I should turn my edges in. But I, I, she said she wanted a Teflon, no, Tupperware lid. I didn't realize it was this. She called a Tupperware lid. That's right. She had you bring like um, mm, margarine know. container lids or... I remember now because I sent out the notice of what Yeah, I know, but I didn't know what it was. And so this will all melt the soap. Melt all the soap, I guess. Well, this I'm doing what Zoe did. Teacher. What Teach did. But I thought it was all a good idea, so I went and found some homemade soap upstairs and I just grated it. It seemed a much easier thing to do than to boil it up in a saucepan. So you can't really use, or you shouldn't use, the detergent dish soap? 
or would it? Well, I think you can. You can use any kind of soap. I'm not getting through here. Getting it flat. Did you manage to get yours flat? Let's see, does it feel flat? Um, I think mine is pretty flat. Okay, so I'm unrolled this and I'm taking off taking off the plastic. So now it's the test to see what it looks like underneath. See if it if it worked, if it felt it. Be a miracle if this works. But miracles can happen. Miracles they certainly do. You know that John is actually quite. So this is the way it looks now. Here I'm just I'm filming here. So there's the there's the completed thing I guess. Oh my goodness! Hey, it's look. lovely now. See, is it stuck? Look at this. Cool. I think these did stay. That's lovely. I think it has. Gosh. Isn't that fun? Genius, and it matches your outfit. <laughs> yes. Who would, it have, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Look, That's lovely. Isn't that fun? That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, it did stick to the wool. Let's look at it on the other side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. The pattern really shows here. Isn't that fun, yeah. Nancy? Really fun. You made fabric <laughs> without having to weave it. Yes. Now all the little bits were the little bits that were in the felt, right? Yeah, this is the. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Um, so you put it, put it in, and then put another layer of felt on top. Isn't that fun? Really yeah, nice. these are the ends of the. Um, yes, the, yeah. the, the little tufts. Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and there might be some other things in here. There might be some nature some in here. Just gifted. Yeah, well. I think it's lovely. Thank you for letting me use your scarf material. Well, I'm rather jealous because I didn't think mine was going to be nearly as good as yours. Oh, well. listen to you. Now, how do I, what do I do with it now? Well, I think you'll probably roll it up, stick it in the sink and rinse it. Yeah. Oh, righty then. So you roll it up on, you keep it on. Do I put my, my, my little thing on it again? I don't know whether you need to put your thing on it again. I mean, just in case. I think, I think to keep it safe, why not? Why not? Are you ready for the roly poly outfit? Yes, I am, but I think I can use this one. Oh. And also, I think I've been a bit silly. I haven't been using a towel. Oh, well, perhaps that's why I've been pulling mine to bits. Right. Why would you, what is the towel about? Well, it holds, I've been. I've been six pulling and mine. Sevens. Mine has been all pulled rather too much, so it's too, it's been stretched is the word, and I'm not sure if it's going to work. Okay, well I shall okay, good move enough. to the sink. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and did you wrap it up in the tool? Yes, I put that on one side. Well, I've always been a bit beyond it. Yep. La 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 This was dirty unwashed wool that I used. So now the dirt is coming out of the the water from there. Very hot. 
hot water. It's really nice once it's washed. And I, I think we're very yeah. clever. The way you've got all this yeah, out. Yeah, I think that's really lovely. Ooh, isn't that fun? We'll have to show Leslie. Hmm. So now what do I do with it? I just let it hang and dry? No, you let it dry. Yeah, you... Um... And she said it was very important to um, iron it afterwards. She said that ironing really made it um, sick. That's good to know. And here's mine. Side, oh. side A Ooh. and side B. Oh, that's wow. awesome. <laughs> so you could even hang it as a valence this way. Yes. Over a window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking to see what the fabric is. Well, here's a one piece. Yes. Here's one piece. Yes. Oh, it's fun. Here's some little birds. Here's another piece. Yes. And... Hmm. Yeah. I like the way you've got the light and dark. Well, it's yes, it's sort of random, but well, isn't that fun? Maybe I should, well, I guess and I what? Now this is the front side. Well, that's one side. I don't know. He can put whichever side he wants, and that's yes. You know, this has this has pieces of your stuff too. Yes. But it didn't show up that much, did it? Well, but it has it's there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. This isn't is very fun? nice. It is what it is. It's, it's very um. Random. Dramatic, I'd No, say. I, I, this side is more random, but the other side is more organized. Well, because it was going to be, I was trying to copy anchor it, mm. doing, you know, the back side being, mm -hmm. she yes. had different colors, but then Rosie yeah, said I fun. should, you know, I'm, I'm, Rosie said, oh, that should be the front, not the yeah, back. Yes, I know. And I said, okay, and then I said, so, no, that should be the back, not the front. So it just so you became had a double-sided, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no reason you can't have two fronts. No, there's no reason. No. There's no law that says I can't have two fronts. Actually, it's reversible. It's reversible. Exactly. What is yours like on the back, Nancy? I shall turn it over. Yeah. Very similar. Very similar, isn't it? It's interesting because you did actually have a thicker layer of piece on the back than you had on the front, I think. Mm -hmm. That's true. This was the back, I guess. And yet the back, it, you can still see the, um, the pattern. Mm -hmm. So should I, should we take it home in these shears and then wash the shears yeah. and bring them back? Yes, or you can take it to the plastic bag and... I think I might work yeah. mine a little bit more. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm... So this is going to be a wall hanging. And you're going to turn the top down to put a rod through it? I could. Thank you for the suggestion. You might want to make it, you might want, if you want that to be the shape, you might want to make another bit there that's going to be turned down. That's a good idea. Although anchor it, when I just saw, all she did was take a piece of willow, bend it in half, and then... Tie. Oh, okay. On, yeah, which was so also a nice yeah. shape. A nice. Um, yes. I think that's quite an interesting. Oh, shape. look at that. Well, I'm going to make shapes. Nice. Oh. Which I'm going to repeat, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to have fun. You're just going to have fun. But you know, I need to play oh, a bit. Just a I, love, I love the paisley pear, which is what this is. You know, this lovely shape. Mm hmm. It's like shape. a heart. Yes. Well, it's very Paisley. Famous. I used to call this squashes. Squish. Squashy. Because it's like the shape of oh, the squash. The yeah. Like Paisley. Paisley. So you're going to use that edge then too. Yes. I thought, well, I thought this would be the straight, you know, I think a design should have straight end curves. So we've got it straight here. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I don't know. Yeah. Try. Mm hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and lay down my flat bottom. It's just going to be nothing but this color.
It, it can be whatever. No, oh, yeah. Um, just see how Marilyn can show you how we were shown how to do it. Right? Well, I, I'm, I've watched everybody do it, so I think I'm good. It's kind of solidified now. Okay, so I have one layer going uh, this way and another layer say. going that way. I just didn't bring any. Now, can somebody check and tell me if it's um, good enough? Like, there's some areas here where you can sort of see oh, through it. You don't, that's very thin there. So you just put a little more where it's thin. Yes, you don't want any thin. Otherwise, if you have thin areas, you're going to have a bit of a hole. Okay. You want to decorate on top of this. Okay. This is this is the this is the body, and then you're going to put stuff on top. Oh, okay. And then you're going to make another layer. Yes. Okay. Okay. So now I took the I took a, a bar of soap, felted bar of soap. I put it in a thing of hot water. And then I squeezed it all over the, all over it. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. I'm not as far as you are yet. I don't think you're doing something. And then, now I'm going to put this piece of curtain all over the top of it. Which is comparing? I do. There we are. Now I'm going to put my next layer on. And now I need to rub it all over with a, something like a lid. Okay, so now I took the, I took a, a bar of soap, felted bar of soap, I put it in a thing of hot water, and then I squeezed it all over the, all over it. Sorry, I'm a bit slow, I'm not as far as you are yet. I don't think you're doing something. And then, now I'm going to put this piece of curtain all over the top of it. I do. There we are. Now I'm going to put my next layer on. And now I need to rub it all over with a something like a lid. Maybe Zoe's away. Maybe she's away. Well, she might be somewhere. Roll it up in the opposite direction. So I'm going to roll it up. So there's only. Oh, there's and then there. and push on it a lot. And then I'm going to roll it the other direction and do the same. I already felted it. I put a bar of soap on the top and whooshed it back and forth. <laughs> it wasn't recording. And switched it back and forth. And now it seems pretty much together. It's pretty felted together at the moment. And then. You put holes in the top of a jug. You can sprinkle water on it in that way. No. Okay, so I'm going to roll this up now. There, I think I've got mine turned over. Okay. Have I
Oh, I remember this from last time. My feet get all wet. Oh, do they? My slippers. But where's the broom, the mop gone? Oh, it's in the corner. Okay, then we squish it. Sorry, I'm just got this I'm inside. A small crisis. So Are you, do you need help? Maybe I'll have a hand. I've about pulled it in half. Do you need another pair of hands? Yes. Mm -hmm. I might have two halves. <laughs> Because you did the um, bubble wrap. I pulled it. it. Okay. So don't you want the bubble wrap away? I do. Oh, so I, I, I did mine with the bubble wrap around. I messed it, you see. You see that it's okay. I can take it away now. Yes. But I, I messed it. Well, then we can fix it. Oh, wait, I don't care. I'm going to put this outside. Oh. This is where I had my disaster. I wrapped my bubble wrap around it. Did I not? Is I supposed to do that? Well, you kept your bubble wrap in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I should have kept the bubble wrap Well, in that's what we did when we made the yurt, didn't we? Yeah, did we keep... Yeah. We did need the bubble wrap in there. But well, maybe I was just stupid. Maybe I should have left the bubble wrap well, in there. Well, Rosie said it has to come out. Oh. Oh, well, I... What's I, happening? This is starting to look like mine. I keep folding mine in on itself. I don't yeah. know what else to do. I so think maybe I'll... There. Where's the mop? Maybe I'll just have wet feet. Here's the, oh, where's the mop? Nancy, I've got it here. Oh, okay. I've been mopping up my mess. Oh, okay. I'm paddling. I'm paddling. See, I, that's where I had trouble. I, I see this is a thin. And it fell apart. And I'm very worried that I've got two scarves, and two halves instead of a hole. It's very long. I know, if it's hanging over the edge as we speak. I know, I, I, I pulled it. Instead of... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> We're just right. goofing around. Uh, These are uh, looking gorgeous. Or, uh, mm, that that is. Is. Yes, that's too thin, isn't it, Anchorage? Yeah. It's mm. like... Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> that's oh, all when you pull it. Yeah. I pulled it by mistake. And it well, just... well, at least there's a reason for it now. <laughs> It's a bit. Where's the mop gone now? Oh. You want it back? Yes, but you don't mind. I think I'm just going to. Oops. Thank you. Perhaps I've made two ends. I suppose what I could do is when I dry it, I could make it into a pillow hover. Yes. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I, I think it'll look nice as a wall hanging. I don't know. Well, this is the wrong side, hmm. or maybe it could be double-sided. I don't know. Yes, reversible. Reversible. <laughs> I really don't know. Bye, this Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye. I don't know what to do about mine now. Is, it, is there any way you can just fill in the, the, the um, oh, because you can put this on top now. That's where I pulled it apart. So what, could you not just put more of that piece there? And make it fit. I pulled it.